if you can remember that. I don't know if it really helps the Rock and John Cena thing because it promotes social networking to a whole other level that it probably doesn't need to be promoted to. The Rock says he's behind Facebook and Twitter and I believe it with how much he plugs it in his movies. He did it for Planet 51, he's been doing it for some of his recent films, so who knows. The only thing John Cena's done theatrically is the reunion and that didn't even sell tickets, but you can check it out on Blu-ray if you have the time and The Rock's movies are on Blu-ray and DVD too. But The Rock is scheduled to make a couple of raw appearances the opportunity is here to turn one of them heel. It seems like Cena would be able to take the majority of the heat. He says, you can cheer for me, you can boo for me, I don't really care, I don't really like this whole rise above the hate thing, I don't like how they're depending on Kane and John Cena entirely to sell this thing with a couple of other superstars thrown in there like CM Punk, who would be uh, the one you would think would be feuding with The Rock and John Cena over this in the WrestleMania slot. Uh, but he's not. He's feuding with Dolph Ziggler and Kofi Kingston and Chris Jericho, who spoke once since his return and said two words. For a while there, I thought that Chris Jericho had an ability to talk. I don't know why he doesn't talk. It's beyond me. But tell me what you think. Facebook.com, Jonathan Clark, YouTube.com, Jonathan Clark 22. What do you think about the whole Rock John Cena thing? And if your opinion is worth sharing with our listening audience, I'll throw it up on our Twitter page and probably share it with us all on a future radio program. The Rock and John Cena headlining WrestleMania 28, April 1st from the hometown of The Rock, home field advantage in the corner of The Rock. The millions and the millions of The Rock's fans will be in attendance both in the arena and all around the world. He is, definitely has the fans in the palm of his hand. That's the advantage he has over John Cena. Whatever John Cena does, the male fans at least hate the shit out of him which is good publicity for him. Any kind of publicity is uh, good publicity. Even it, it could be the most worst publicity ever, and it, it's still looked at as good publicity because you're still being promoted. And I think they probably would sell just as much merchandise if Cena was a heel rather than a babyface, you know, like kind of like Austin. Heel, babyface, he still sold tickets, still put butts in seats, and still sold merchandise no matter who he was against. You'd boo him when he was against a fan favorite, you cheer for him when he was against Hunter Hearst Helmsley. So, you know, it, heel or babyface, Cena's still going to sell tickets. Heel or babyface, The Rock is still going to sell tickets. So that's a good thing. Tell me what you think about this whole thing. Facebook.com, Jonathan Clark, talking about Cena potentially turning heel. Follow me on Twitter, HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark 1, Facebook.com, Jonathan Clark. And I will see you next week. So long for now. Sleep in class. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Who are you? Wait a minute, hold on just one second here. You're telling me you don't know who I am? I'm Jonathan Clark, the host of EGW Entertainment Variety Radio. I've done over 700 interviews almost. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Google Video. I'm on every search engine on the Internet. I'm on every radio show that you could ever think of that pertains to professional wrestling and sports entertainment. I've got my own official website that you're on here right now, HEW Entertainment. Should I continue? Like you didn't already know that. You're listening to HEW Entertainment Variety Radio with me, Jonathan Clark, and no, this isn't a bad dream. It's a reality. <laughs> Are you okay, Miss Fowles? I'm sorry. So I'm dreaming my life away. I need you so that I could die. I love you so. And that is why whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream. Something takes place in the world of professional wrestling. You know where to go. WrestleZone.com WrestleZone.com 
covering all the latest breaking news daily. Interactive forums where you can chat with thousands of other wrestling fans. Exclusive editorials and audio features by some of today's top wrestling superstars. Exclusive video content, weekly polls, live play-by-play -play coverage of every WWE and TNA pay-per-view. And now, and now, featuring WrestleZone Radio, live, live, with news, in-depth discussions, debates, and interviews with wrestling's top stars, past, past, and present, present. When you think wrestling, think WrestleZone. WrestleZone.com He considers himself God's gift to wrestling, and millions of his faithful agree. With nearly four hours of footage and exclusive commentary and matches, this DVD chronicles Daniel's rise from Chicago's Windy City Wrestling to the Asylum in Nashville, and finally to the top of TNA. TNA Home Video presents Heaven Sent, Hell Bound, the best of Christopher Daniels. Available at most retailers and TNAWrestling.com. Hey you, you right there, the one listening to this show. While you're tuning into this broadcast or when you read the news on WrestleZone.com, are you forming opinions of it all? Or do you just agree with everything you see and hear? If you actually have some sort of afterthought, which, by the way, is normal. We want to know what it is. There are thousands of wrestling fans just like you that simply can't hold their thoughts in either, and they let it all out in our interactive forums. You have a voice, so use it. Simply visit forums.wrestlezone.com. Don't just be active, be reactive in the official WrestleZone.com forums. For all the latest in mixed martial arts, be sure to visit WrestleZone's sister site, SureDog.com. Complete with daily news, exclusive video, interviews, live radio broadcast, interactive forums, and the very popular Fight Finder with bios and complete match-by-match -match histories of your favorite fighters. SureDog is the only place you need when it comes to mixed martial arts. Visit SureDog.com today. Day, day, day. Hi, my name is Adam Nudelman, but I play the Phantom on the radio. I'm here to remind you that, oh, screw that, my book, Mysteries of Wrestling Solved, is available at finer bookstores everywhere. That stupid fake voice, I hate it. I wrote a book along with Sir Adam Kleinberg called Mysteries of Wrestling. It has the questions that you wanted answered. Why does Steve Austin hate Jeff Jarrett? Are referees really blind and stupid and dumb? Who is actually the toughest wrestler in the business outside of the ring? Hulk Hogan, The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Kamala, we get down and dirty with insider facts you've never read about anywhere else. So what are you waiting for? It makes a great stocking stuffer. You're too short, you buy three of them, you get taller, you just stand on them. Mysteries of Wrestling Solved by ECW Press, written by Sir Adam Kleinberg and Adam the Phantom New Delman. Available everywhere. It's done. The plug is done. I'm done. I didn't sell it well enough. There's naked pictures of China in there. Okay? Thank you. John Triton is on the toughest, most important mission of his life. I have a hostage. It's my wife. No! And with everything on the line, I gotta do something, and I gotta do it now. Nothing and no one can stop him. See, I tried to kill this guy twice today. Now, see the Marine in a whole new way with the unrated version. Get more edge of your seat action, more mind-blowing explosions, more of the Marine. This unrated version features material too hot for theaters, plus special behind-the-scenes features. John Cena is the Marine. Only unrated version. Available now on DVD. Rated version also available. I know what you're thinking. I'm not a real athlete. I'm just a wrestler. I'm six foot ten. 328 pounds. I won boxing as golden gloves three years in a row. I was a national champion at the University of Miami. My jersey was retired at Florida State. I was the ultimate fighting champion. When you step through those ropes, bad things do happen. At over 200 steps. I suffered a dozen concussions. Broken bones. I've separated shoulders. Dad's hair broke my neck. I've blown out knees. But I've still got up. This is who I am. This is what I do. I'm not really an athlete. This isn't real. Try lacing my boots.
Every day I train. Thousands of hours of practice. Injuries can happen at any time. My kneecap just kind of blew over to the side of my leg. I've torn the pectoral muscle completely off my shoulder. I've had surgery five times in my left knee. You do question, can I come back from this? My body, my life is on the line. Don't risk yours. Please, don't try this. Hi, I'm Jonathan Clark, the voice of HEW Entertainment Radio. For years, HEW Entertainment has been the number one professional wrestling news website on the internet for good reason, including headlines, extensive video footage, a radio program weekly, a weekly column for our users to read, video footage from HEW Wrestling Network, a YouTube channel, a MySpace, a Facebook, everything that a professional wrestling news website should have, HEW Entertainment has it for you in one place. Event Results, video footage, news headlines, thousands of images, a weekly column, a weekly radio broadcast including archives, fantasy results, live chat rooms, forums, pay-per-view play-by-play, and so much more. For more information, add us today at Facebook.com, Jonathan Clark, and check out our YouTube channel at YouTube.com.